Go for it, guys. So today we have 10 takeaways for you from the first 1,000 episodes. So what is number one? Well, let's get the first one out of the way because it's the most important one. Yes. Well, of course, where would we be without connection, (laughs) not perfection? Exactly. But what is connection? Let's like dig into this just for a minute, Michelle, just to make sure that our listeners know what we're talking about here. Cause we say that phrase all the time. But what is connection in our, in our definition here? Yeah. Well, I mean, connection is when, you know, you really have a moment with someone. You have a shared smile or a laugh or, you Mm -hmm. know, you tell a story to someone. They just really, really get it. Or you tell a funny joke and they laugh. Right. What else, Lindsay? Or being there to support someone, right? Maybe if they've lost someone, we've done episodes on all of these topics, right? We dig into each of these connection topics all the time on this show, guys, and go back into our back catalog, (laughs) the first 1,000 episodes, getting to know someone for the first time, first impressions, or even if you are giving a speech, right? Connection in that situation would be moving the audience in the direction you want to move them in, right? Making them feel something, okay? So it's not just one-to-one connections. It's also... You know, depending on the context, right? For sure. Exactly. Yeah. So connection is so huge, guys. Exactly. So what do we always want to keep in mind when, how do we do this? How do we actually do this? I mean, you always want to find a way to connect with the person or the people that you're talking to, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you and you always want to just keep this in mind. And, you know, is I think probably almost the primary thing even in conversations right that's what all of this is about because some people might misunderstand this phrase and think that we're saying that it doesn't matter if you speak correctly or not right exactly so that's what we want to make sure people are clear about you know i think maybe some teachers might glance at this and think oh no like they don't care about being correct they don't care about grammar that's not the case, right? There's nothing no. wrong, guys, with trying to learn grammar, learn pronunciation, and to be correct. You should strive to be correct. The problem starts when, Michelle? When does the problem come in? Okay. Well, the problem is when you let your mistakes block the connection, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. In a conversation or any moment, right? It's it's more important to connect we think than to be perfect or to be correct. I mean, again, go for it. Be as correct as possible, but but don't let it just get in your way where you end up just kind of freezing. Freezing or not starting that conversation. Or or when you hear yourself make a mistake, dropping eye contact, right? Right, right. Because that's where the connection gets lost. It's not when you make that mistake, right? Because we think it's when we make the mistake, but it's actually what we do before and after that Mm. breaks that connection. And then we end up being isolated and lonely. Right, right, right. And we don't want that. (laughs) No. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I feel like we've nailed that one. So that's number one, guys. So Michelle, what would be the second one? The second takeaway of the 1000 episodes? The second one is to just enjoy learning and find ways to do so, right? So Mm -hmm. what do we mean by that, Lindsay? So this idea of not sitting in a room by yourself with a textbook, right? right? This, you know, this show is the opposite of that. We want to give you real English to get out there, right? To be listening. And also some of the programs that we love to host, like the Urban Adventures. And Michelle, that is coming up this weekend. We're recording this, guys, about a month in advance. (laughs) So about three weeks in advance. So this weekend, we actually have the Urban Adventure in New York. And we are so excited. Oh, my gosh. Because this is exactly the opposite of learning in isolation. This is bringing you guys into New York City, around New York City, and using the city as your language tool, right? Right. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. (laughs) And we've added some really new cool activities, um, some videotaping that we're going to do, some really cool ways to explore neighborhoods in lower Manhattan and explore movie scenes in upper Manhattan, uptown, right? We have a lot of cool things going on. Oh yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. So very excited to meet our listeners who are coming this weekend. So that's the first, that's the second one. What about number three, Michelle? What would be the third takeaway? The third takeaway is don't let fear hold you back, right? Mm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. mistakes, you know, this is kind of a little bit of what we were talking about, about yeah. mistakes are not what prevents connection, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. It, it's important what you do when you're afraid of the mistake. 